Hi, I'm Melba, born, bred, and buttered in the village of Harlem. I'm super duper excited to have you here with me on behalf of Caring Kind. We are gonna be cooking up some delicious eats for you today. What are we making? We are making my favorite black eyed pea stew. Yes, I did say black eyed pea stew. You know, it's the new year and there's nothing better then starting at the new year with some black eyed peas. After all, black eyed peas do represent luck. And I wanna make sure that we have a blessed and a lucky 2021. All right, let's get started. First, we're gonna start off with some olive oil. Make sure that you have your saucepan on medium. We're gonna take our olive oil and just pour it in there. I'm very dramatic, so I like to go up and down. You know, there's not a lot of theater, so I've got to bring the theater when I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> onions, I love onions. We're gonna take our onions, put those down there, and you can hear them sizzle. Garlic, who doesn't love garlic? I think everything's better with garlic. I'm gonna saute that, just let it sizzle. Cook that down for about two minutes. I love the smell of onions and garlic. And normally I have a little trilogy. Normally I use onions, garlic, and green peppers or red peppers. Today we're not gonna put any peppers in here, but normally that's my go-to trilogy. I wish you guys had smell-o-vision. Already, we're just getting started and this is already smelling good. So I'm gonna let that sit for about two or three minutes. One of the beautiful things about cooking is that it takes patience. So it's, it's an amazing time for me to think about my day, to think about things that make me happy. But it's also a great time that reminds me of my grandmother. My grandmother was born in a very small town in South Carolina called Hemingway, South Carolina. And in our house, everything that happened, happened over food. Every celebration, be it a wedding, be it an anniversary, a birthday, some great news, but also funerals. Everything happened over food. So. In me opening Melba's, I knew that it had to be special. And I also knew that I wanted Melba's to be a place where people from all different generations, all different ethnicities, all different religious backgrounds could gather together and for food to be the common denominator, the thing that actually brought us all together. So I'm gonna take my carrots and I'm gonna saute them and add them to my garlic and my onion. Mix those in there. When you're cooking stew, sometimes you'll put meat. However, if you are not using meat, the best, the best, mm, something that's gonna give you that same feeling and texture of a protein, mushrooms. I love mushrooms. And they're such a great substitute and very, very healthy. I love mushrooms and mushrooms love me. I love mushrooms, and mushrooms love me. I always sing when I eat. I'm in a good space, I feel good, and so I do things that bring me joy. Cooking brings me joy, and singing, although I may not be the best, in my head, I'm better than the rest. It's my story, I'm sticking to it. Oh, this is happening over here. It's about to be a party about to be a party in my house. And now I'm just gonna add a pinch of salt into my mixture. Ooh. Now we gotta throw a little bit over that shoulder, a little bit over that shoulder, and a little bit in the pot, right? There we go. I gotta ask my mother why we do that. And paprika, I love paprika. You know, I think I love everything over here. I just love cooking. So paprika, it's gonna give it a nice smoky flavor. And when we are making a stew, oh, look at this. This is some good eats about to happen over here, y'all. Can you see this? Can you see how beautiful? And look at the colors that are in there. I love the orange mixed with the earthiness. Here we have Cajun seasonings, onion powder, garlic powder, and ooh, pepper. I love red pepper and thyme. And all of this is gonna go into our stew. First, I'm gonna put my vegetable broth in. I'm going to stir in some tomatoes. Ooh, look at that. And these are tomatoes, fresh tomatoes that I pureed this morning. 
Let me get this going in here. There we go. My Cajun seasonings are going right in there. And the great thing is that when you have all of your ingredients ready to go, you can just put them in there. That's it. Onion powder, garlic powder, red pepper. Give it a little bit of a, mm, I'm not gonna add all that red pepper in there. And some fresh thyme, which I love. I'm gonna put all the thyme in there. There we go. Before I add my black eyed peas, I am going to just taste this and see if I need to put a little bit of anything else, a little more red pepper or something. Mmm. Oh my God. This is so good. Seasoning is perfect. I'm getting a little bit of heat. This is actually divine. This is a great stew. The star of the dish, black eyed peas. So we know black eyed peas bring you luck and they're very, very healthy for you. Anytime I can eat black eyed peas, I do. My great grandmother, who, God bless her soul, lived to be 105 years old. And she was in her right mind and passed quietly in her sleep. She swore that the reason that she lived so long was because she ate black eyed peas once every day. I wanna live to be 105 too. Here we go. I'm gonna add the black eyed peas in here. If you're gonna have black eyed peas, it's always a great idea to have collard greens lurking close behind. So we're gonna take our collard greens, which have been washed and cleaned, and put them right in here in our stew. I'm just gonna stir this in, put everything together. Heart healthy, brain healthy, and delish. Hmm, what more could we ask for? Okay, everything is mixed in. I'm gonna put this bad girl on high. You know what, I'm gonna put a little bit more salt in here because of the collard greens. I need a little dash of salt. Put the top on and we're gonna let it simmer for one hour. It's been about 20 minutes, so I'm gonna check in on my stew and see how it's stewing. Stewing, not doing. <laughs> my collard greens, great color to them, adding lots of flavor and texture. I'm gonna put the top back on and uh, let it simmer for a second. It's been about 56 minutes or so, so let's check in on this little girl and see what's happening. Ooh, first of all, the aroma. I can't wait to dig into this stew. Look at this. I'm gonna plate this now. Look at those collard greens, beautiful. I'm gonna make sure I get enough of the stew in there, the juices. Here we go. I'm gonna taste this. Mmm. Delicious. Healthy comfort from my house to yours. A little bit of black eye pea stew. You can find this and other recipes in my book, Melba's American Comfort. Enjoy. saw subscribe to our channel so you never miss another video to see more of the peak tv check out our website subscribe to our youtube channel and catch us on wfmz channel 69